During my Essentials Catalog walkthrough, I mentioned the ability to create custom cardstock packs um, as I was talking about the different new colors that we had launched this year. And I wasn't sure how many people actually knew how to create a custom pack. So I thought I'd put together this quick little video to show you exactly how you can create a custom cardstock pack for yourself. So when you log on to my maker site or any maker site, you will uh, come to this landing page. And in this right hand side of the page, there is a search option. In the search option, if you type custom, 12, you will get a returned result for a custom cardstock pack for 12 sheets. If you search for custom 24, you will get the 24 sheet version of the custom card pack. And if you just search for custom, it will bring back both the 12 and the 24 sheet options. To select the papers that you want in this custom pack, you just need to click Add to Cart. When you click Add to Cart, it's going to give you a selection page. On the selection page, it tells you that the custom cardstock sheets are offered in multiples of two, with six pairs in a 12-pack uh, option, and 12 pairs in the 24-pack option. It also gives you a selection box of all of the colors that we have available. Now, I happen to know that when I was uh, getting my first 12 sheet pack, custom pack of new colors, I didn't have space for Limeade uh, because we have seven new colors and there was only spots for six. So I know I need to add Limeade to this custom pack. Limeade is a green, so all I need to do is hover over the greens till I find the color that I want to add to my custom pack. And Limeade is this last one here. When you click on that color, it will add it to your selection boxes down below. This box represents two sheets of Limeade. If I want four sheets of Limeade, then I'm gonna just select Limeade one more time. I'm gonna click on that box. It's going to add it to my selection boxes below. And now I have four sheets of Limeade. I'm going to continue this process filling up all of the boxes, all six boxes, so that I have a complete pack. So I could add pumpkin, I could add royal, I could add rosy. And maybe I don't know what my last color is, and I could leave it like that. But before I check out, I'm going to have to make that final selection. When I go to my cart, it is going to give me an error message with this error tri or this triangle giving me a warning that I do not have 12 sheets selected. And I'm going to get this message down here that my custom 12 is incomplete. I have not selected enough uh, options in that 12 pack. In order to edit this, I come over here to the right hand side where I have this pencil icon, which is the edit icon. And if I click on that, it will bring me back to this selection page. If I decide I don't want some of these colors in my selection, I just need to click on the X that shows up when I hover over that box and it will remove it from my selection options. So say I didn't want Royal, I removed Royal, but I want to go ahead and add Journey. I think I want again, four sheets of journey. And so I've added those four sheets. So now I have four sheets of Limeade, two sheets of pumpkin, two sheets of rosy, four sheets of journey. When I go back to my cart up here at the top, it will now show me that I have selected 12 sheets and my warning messages have gone away. This is really helpful when you just need to order a few sheets of a specific color uh, and you don't need a full 24 pack of cardstock. It's also helpful, especially at the beginning of the year when we are launching our new colors so that you can get just a sampling of some of those new colors, but not necessarily commit to a full 24 pack of paper. Hopefully this was helpful and thanks so much for watching.